Well, hello, folks. Thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. You're very welcome to the program. And um, we're continuing here in the town of Rafraine. And where we are now is we're actually, as you can see, at the fire station in Rafraine, and it's Northern Ireland Fire and Rescue Service. And we'll have a gentleman here, along with two big engines, who's uh, going to tell us his name, his first name anyway. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well, sir. And what, yourself? Not so bad. What's your name? My name's Fred. And I'm Mark. Pleased to, uh, to good meet morning. you. Good morning. Give you a wee bit of uh, information in relation to the fire station here. I'm just the manager, the watch commander. Uh -huh. of, and we're all part-time. I have a personnel of 20 on the station. A mixed person, uh, a mixed personnel, a different variety of people. There's some male, there's some female. Uh, we are called out to fire calls on the press of a little button and we got our pagers and we turn out to the station. There are two fire engines, they each take a crew of six. Very good. So there's six go out uh, to the... It uh, goes back a long time here in Ruff Island. Uh, initially the fire station wasn't here, it was on other places. Uh, and it's back up and running here. Uh, unfortunately we did have electric fault in the fire station a number of years ago. The fire station was... Uh, this section, the plants bay was uh, actually burnt uh, and burnt pretty badly. But we've got a new fire station uh, and refurbished and everything, and we are up and running. We serve the community here, uh, all walks of life. Uh, we live in the community, we are the community, and we serve, we serve the community. So it's a delight to work in your own area. And what sort of uh, what sort of you know calls would you be would you be sent out to? We get a vast variety of calls. Uh, it, you just don't know. It's almost like going out fishing. You don't know what size of fish, let alone what sort of fish. Uh, so the fire brigade have all the personnel trained and right across the variety of calls yes. that, that they might be faced with. A uh, big variety of the community. Uh, we, from uh, animal rescue to car traffic incidents to CO alarms. Uh, yeah, and the fire brigade have spent a lot of money in educating people in relation to smoke alarms. So that has reduced the calls. Very good. So at least the fire brigade have stepped up to the mark. So yeah. not only do we attend calls, but we educate the schools. Uh, we go out to different community groups and make them aware of the risk of fire. Could you show us maybe some of the, Aye, uh, sure. Come on the uniforms that you wear yeah, while you're out on call? Brilliant. What's your name again? My name is Mark Porter of the Church History Trail. Okay, good man, the Church History Trail. So are you doing the, in the town? I'm doing it in the town. I was in last week and I'm in this week. There's a powerful lot of history in this town. So okay, so what we have here, there's all the fire kit you can see from uh, their helmets. That's their helmets to keep them safe. Uh, their fire tunics, uh, fire trousers, fire boots. And these are all ready then just to go? They are all, all ready. They are up to a uh, very high standard. The fire brigade have spent a lot of money on trying to protect their personnel. Yes. And endeavour to do so. so um, what about the uh, the hoses then on, on the side of the wagon? Could you could you maybe show us them? Well, come on. We'll have a wee quick look at them. That's just your standard. Uh, that runs off a, off a, a reel that runs off this reel here and then that's your big hoses that will run out. Now is it uh, true that these would knock you off your feet if, if you weren't waiting on the water coming if, through them? If you don't have a proper pump operator giving you the right pressure. Is that right? Yes certainly but generally there's supposed to be two on each uh, yes. line of hose. Very good and it's Northern Ireland. Fair and rescue. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, thanks very much. No bother. And all the best. I hope you get no more calls tonight. I hope not. <laughs> things are starting to dry up now, and you can finish up getting a few doors fired. Maybe even in the mornings. No, well, that's where we were there a while ago. Yes. So, yeah, good to see you, and you're very welcome to the station anytime you want to come. Thank you, and God bless. Good man. So, what do you think of that, folks? Isn't that fantastic? So, uh, thanks for watching, and God bless. See you on the